Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Realme GT 5G. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 520 bucks. I repeat, 520 bucks. Now it comes in three different colors. You got blue, silver, and racing gold. All right, so let's go through all the specs. For the display, you got a 6.43 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 409 for the PPI Patrol. You got glass on the front, a plastic frame, a plastic or eco leather back, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. I repeat, 120 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno 660 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro flagship specs now you got 8 or 12 gigs of ram 128 or 256 gigs of storage no micro sd card slot for expandable memory now it's running android 11 with realme ui 2.0 skin on top which is basically color os now you got a 4500 milliamp battery that features 65 watt dart fast charge now realme claims you could charge your phone from zero to 100 percent in 35 minutes and on a side note, I tested it out, they telling the truth. Now for the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide angle, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got a stainless steel vapor cooling system, you get dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6, NFC, always on display, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. So all of that for 520 bucks, what's missing from my flagship checklist? No quad HD display, no IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no wireless charge, no power share, no expandable memory, and no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. All right, 520 bucks, let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White shoes. White shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Realme GT 5G. 520 bucks. Now, like I said, it comes in three different colors. Of course, I went with racing gold. All right, so nice black box. Y'all know I like a nice black box. Giggity. Here we go. Okay, so inside. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. Okay, so now this is going to be a SIM ejection tool. Now, I already used this. Okay, now I'll just put the, everything back in the box for dramatic effects, but right there, you would have a SIM ejection tool. Let's see what else is inside. Now check this out. You got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, follow them to the side. I right, shoes, scoot, scoot. You get a case. All right, now nothing fancy with this case, little gel skin case, but a case nevertheless. This is gonna be your USB type C to USB type C charging cable. I right, shoes, inspect that for quality. This is gonna be your device. Flick of the wrist and check this out. 65 watt super dart fast charging brick included in the box. All right, 520 bucks, you get a 65 watt fast charging brick included in the box. All right, you can't beat that. Now for the device, peel this plastic off. Peel the plastic off the back. Okay, bang, check this out. The race in yellow. Now, this is eco leather on the back, which on a side note is not real leather, but you don't want real leather on your cell phone because if it gets wet, real leather is gonna look like trash. Eco leather is gonna look nicer and last longer, okay? And it's more durable. Beautiful looking device. Let me do the smell test on this real quick. Mm! This one smells like a McLaren, all right? This one smells like a race car. Anyway, let me pause the video. I'll drop all my information in the phone. We'll start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I gotta make one quick correction. This phone does indeed have a headphone jack. Now, the easiest way for me to describe this phone is this is the Oppo Find X3 Pro, but a watered down version. And when I say watered down, I'm not talking about performance. I'm talking about features. Now with the Oppo, you do have a glass back. 
It is water resistant. You got better cameras. You got the quad HD display. You got wireless charge and you got power share. All right, you don't have any of those features on the GT, but the phone performs exactly the same. Okay, for half the price. This is a beast right here. First things first, let's talk about the build quality. A1. Now, if you get the racing gold, you're gonna get the eco leather back. No fingerprints on this. It does look and feel like real leather. Kind of looks like you got the racing stripe. The build quality on this phone is excellent. Okay, now on one side, you got your power button. On the top, you got a mic. On the other side, you got volume up and down. There's your SIM tray, all right, dual SIM slots. On the bottom, headphone jack, all right, Samsung, Apple, pay attention, headphone jack. There's your USB Type-C charging slot and a speaker grill. Now you're getting dual speakers on this phone. Next, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. Next, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. All right, the fingerprint sensor on this works super fast, 100% of the time. Bong, look at that. Now you don't have to turn it on. Bong, there it is. And of course, you got face unlock. Now I'm not looking at it. Now I'm gonna look at it. Bong, there it is. Bong. Now, just so for comparison sakes, here's the Oppo. If you notice, they look exactly the same. All right, now I'm gonna look at both of them and open them at the same time. Bong. Again, this is a watered down version of the Oppo but not with performance. I only water down when it comes to certain features. Next, now you do have an always on display. Let me try to do that without opening up the device. All right, always on display, beautiful. All right, shows you your time, date, battery percentage, all your notifications. Bang, there it is. All right, so let's go through some of the features real quick. Now, you got all your basic toggles. All right, now I'm not gonna go through all of these. Let's just go to settings real quick. Let's go to uh, connections and sharing. You got NFC, okay, you got VPN, private DNS, all your scumbag services. Let's take it over to personalization. Now, one of the things that I love about this phone is the customization, all right? You can customize everything on this phone. Done. This is Realme uh, UI 2.0. But again, it's exactly the same as Color OS. And that's one of the things that I love about Color OS. And on the side note, the Oppo is one of my top three Android phones of 2021. So if you buy this Realme phone, it's the same as buying the Oppo Find X3 Pro, but for half the price, you're just missing some of the features, but it's gonna perform exactly the same. Here's some of your personalization. So you got all your themes, your wallpapers. You can change your always on display. You can change your icon styles, your app layout, your fingerprint style. All right, when you hit the fingerprint sensor, bunch of different styles to choose from. I like that bubble right there. You can change your colors, your font display size, your notification drawer, and your edge lighting. All right, so you got a bunch of different edge lighting. You got orange, blue, neon purple, or you could just have it on none. All right, real dope. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, let's go to home screen. Okay, let's see anything we need to see here. Double tap to awake the screen. You can use that if you want. You got your lock screen magazine, always on display. All right, a bunch of different always on displays to choose from. All right, you got your digital clocks, your analog clock, text and image. Go crazy. Let's exit out of that. Let's go to display and brightness. Now, I got it on dark mode, but you can have it on auto switch if you want. You got your eye comfort. You can change your screen, uh, your screen color temperature. I'll leave it on cool, but you got default and warm. You got vivid, gentle, and brilliant. I like it on vivid, why not? Let's go to more. Now, screen refresh rate. You can have it on auto select. All right, so this way you can save your battery. You can have it on standard, which is 60 hertz, or you can leave it on high. All right, 120 hertz refresh rate on a $500 device. This is crazy. Now you got your bright HDR video mode. You can turn that on and off if you want. Just keep it moving, anything else? Sound and vibration. I'll do a sound test on this so you can hear the speakers for yourself, but crazy loud speakers, dual speakers on a $500 phone, all right? Now I know that's one of my mandatory features that I need, dual speakers, you got it on this one. Biometrics, you got uh, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, you got private safe, all right, you got <laughs> private safe, that's your thought protection, you got kid space, and you got app lock, okay? 
Let's keep it moving. Anything else we need to see? Let's go to uh, convenience tools. Okay, so you got gestures in motion. You got three fingers for your screenshot. You got screen recording. Flip to mute. You got your assistive ball. Now, I don't need to really go through that. Y'all know what that is, that little ball that pops up, and you can use that as a back button if the phone screen feels too big for you. You got your quick return. You got your smart slider. That's this on the side. I'll show you how, let me show you what that looks like. Bang, right there. So now I have different apps I can set up if I want to. I got my file manager, messenger, calculator. This is kind of like a Samsung Edge panel. You just swipe it over, you got settings. Boom, let's go back to settings. Okay, let's see anything else. Where we got? I got convenient tools. You got quick launch. All right, let me show you how quick launch works. Now, from, <laughs> that opened up so fast, I didn't even get to see the fingerprint sensor. Now, from the fingerprint sensor, all I gotta do is hold down, and I can go to music, Facebook, YouTube, Assistant. You can really set this up any way you want. That's gonna be your quick launch. All right, let's go back over to settings. You see how I like using that little smart slider right there. Let's see anything else. Where was we? Uh, convenience tools. You got split screen multitasking. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Pretty much it with that. Let's go to storage. Okay, now this is 128 gigs, eight gigs of RAM, 520 bucks. Got your Google services, software update about, and you got accessibility. Now, I'm not, I don't have to go through accessibility, but it's there, all right? All, if you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is in there. Exit out of that. Now look how smooth this phone is. I right, check this out. Sennheiser's new AirPod rival has the best sound you could buy for 130 bucks. Now I reviewed those last week. I told y'all the same thing. Some of y'all didn't believe me. Now when everybody else saying it, now I want y'all to jump on the bag like it real quick. All right, 120 hertz refresh rate, super smooth scrolling speeds on this. Look at that. Now of course you can't really see it on the YouTube video. Buttery smooth, all right, butter, okay? Beautiful AMOLED display. This phone is a certified beast. Again, if you like the Apple Find X3 Pro and you didn't feel like spending a thousand bucks, maybe you don't care about wireless charging. All right, maybe you don't need the top of the line camera, but you want a good camera. If you want this Apple Find quality for half the price, this is the phone that you want. All right, trust me when I tell you, you're gonna love this phone. All right, let's start our regular testing. All right, so first up, let's check the web browsing speeds. Now we're gonna use Google. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Look how fast that was. Now this is the full website, 120 hertz refresh rate, immaculate scrolling speeds, no issues at all. Now watch this. Now we can open this up as a floating window. Okay, so now I can move this around. Let's see, let's move it around like this, bang like that. And let's say I wanna open up Instagram. I could be on Instagram with Apple at the same time. Okay, so now let's exit out of that. Let's go back over to uh, apple.com. Now watch this. Now I can open it up as a mini window. Okay, so now say I'm on Facebook. Now I got my mini window right there. I can still be checking out some stuff on Facebook while I'm shopping. And then if I want, I can go back to Apple or I can exit out of that. Now, let me show you one more. Let's open it up as a split screen. And we'll do YouTube on the bottom. Now I got Apple on the top, YouTube on the bottom. Look how smooth that is. This is real multitasking. All right, so you got a lot of features on deck with this one. All right, so now let's test the dual speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? These speakers sound great. Look, I'm gonna cover up the bottom. Still hear it nice and loud from the top. Sound 
white shoes has the sound on it. These speakers sound dope. 520 bucks, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful AMOLED display. Basically bezel-less, little punch hole camera in the front. Excellent viewing angles. This is dope. Look how crispy this display looks. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Got Asphalt 9 queued up. And today we're gonna start from level two. I, I actually made it to level two. So here we go. All right, Asphalt 9, let's go. Here we go. Okay, get that nitrous. Jump in that lead real quick. Okay. Tap and hold the drip. We got that already. Okay, we got that already. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, this game is no shortage of tutorials. All right, here we go. Okay, there it is. There it is. I got a drift to build my nitrous up. Oh, I missed the jump. Take it to the ramp. Bang. Let's go. All right, here we go, here we go. What place am I in? Hold on, what did I finish, what did I finish? All right, first place, all right, first place. That seems right. All right, so you're gonna be able to run your Android market games with no problems on this phone. Keep in mind, you got the vapor chamber cooling system, so your phone is gonna stay nice and cool. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do one of my favorite tests, the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now, this is how most people are gonna use this phone. Now, you wake up in the morning, you got an always on display. So you don't have to touch the phone. You can see the time, the date, your battery percentage, and your notifications. Now, when you're ready to unlock the phone, you don't have to press any buttons. Just lift it up while looking at it. Bang, right into your home screen. Now, the first thing I like to do when I wake up is check the weather. Okay, so it's a rainy day out here. It's gonna rain today, it's gonna rain tomorrow, it's gonna rain all weekend, so let me grab my umbrella. Let's keep it moving. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, now this is my actual Facebook, so let's do a little Facebook scrolling. Okay, so happy birthday to Janelle, let's go ahead and like that. Why not? James Earl got some new glasses out, okay, let's keep it moving. What's this, uh, some abstract art? Okay, I'll figure that out later. Okay, shout out to my cuz. All right, looking all young, okay. Okay, Starshima. Yo, she's 33 years old. She look about 12 years old. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let's see. Let's see anything else. All right, Nikki. All right, thanks for the birthday love. Let me go ahead and like that too. Okay, Bobby C. Jr. Okay, let's go ahead and read that later. My man Suave, he back in the gym. All right, Suave back up in the gym. Now he got the, the size medium shirts on. You know, he work out one day, bring out the medium shirts. All right, let me get to stop hating like that. Okay, what's this, uh, Richard Milley? All right, somebody got the chandelier. Richard Milley, is this, a, is this a fake one or not? I don't know, if this is fake, I'm copping this though. Let me get, let me get, let me go ahead and uh, screenshot that. All right, because if this is fake, I'm copping that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't afford a Richard Millie, but I can afford the fake one. Let's see. Uh, all right, shout out to my cousin. Okay, let's go ahead and like that too. All right, so this is how your Facebook scrolling is going to look. Full screen, 120 hertz. Beautiful. Bong, exit out of that. Next thing i like to do, let's take it over to Twitter. All right, let's go over to my mentions and see if anybody's talking about me. Okay, let me say uh, triple cross. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll read these later. Now, I don't really like. I don't really like going through my tweets because it'd be a lot of hate tweets. Now I'm I'm all about positive vibes only. 
know what I'm saying? I like to keep my stuff positive. But this is how it's going to look when you're reading through your tweets. Let's see. Uh, Team Pixel. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. The long, long tweets. LG V40. LG is dead, so I'm not reading any LG tweets. Okay, somebody got a new Galaxy Note 20. It's getting like that. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Matter of fact, I, I don't even... Uh, yeah, that's how you like it. All right. <laughs> that's how much I'll be on Twitter. All right, but here's all my tweets. All right, somebody got a new Apple remote. What is that? Okay, it is what it is. I don't really rock with Apple TV like that. But this is how it's going to look when you're reading your tweets. Now, if I want to, I can open this up in a floating window. All right, move it around and take it back over to Facebook. So now I can be on Facebook and Twitter at the same time. I right, read in my Facebook and my tweets at the same time. Bong, let's exit out of that, and we'll exit out of that. Bong. Next, let's take it over to Gmail. Let's do some actual work. All right, so let me open up my emails. Now, I don't want to put any of my real work emails on blast, so I'll take it over to social. All right, so this would be me going through my work emails. Okay, this is how fast I read my work emails. Bong. Okay, bong. Okay, oh, bong. <laughs> that's it. If I don't see any dollar signs, I just keep it moving. Bong, bong. All right, that's, there it is. All right, so this is how it's going to look <laughs> when you're doing your work emails. But here's all your emails, all right? Beautiful. Exit out of that. Next, let's do a little bit of social media, TikToking. All right, let's do a little TikToking. Is that what they call it? TikToking. All right, let's go to uh, my TikTok. Let's see, how do I get to my TikTok? Let's go to me, okay? Right, this is how much I use TikTok. I'm only following one person. Let me see what Amaya's up to. Okay, let's see what Amaya's doing now. Okay. I begin to pass out. Now, Amaya's are out here. Amaya be flipping. Let me turn the volume down real quick. Oh, 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 Amaya, oh. Amaya caught an L just now. <laughs> Hold on, let's see that again. All right, Amaya, let's see. But this is how you get better, though. That's the only way you get better is catching those L's. Let's see, Amaya talking about how uh, she feeling sick right now. And then five minutes later, you know, she out, she out in the world doing it big. Okay, standing on the tables in the clubs. Okay, okay. I don't like to see all of that, you know, <laughs> but it is what it is. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Okay, looking luxurious. I already liked all of these. All right, Amaya and her little friends. Okay, you know. Okay, but this is how it's going to look when you're going through all your TikToks. Keep it moving. All right, that's it. What else? Uh, let's see. Let's take it over to uh, Instagram. All right, this is how it's going to look when you're on the gram. Let's go ahead and get a fresh refresh and see what's down, going down. Now, I actually went to elementary school. I was shy. This is, we actually was in the same class in the sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now what's going on here? All right, what's going on here? A lot, a lot of waist activity. A lot of side boob activity. Now, I know we're calling this the Calvin test. I look for Calvin in the comment section. Calvin always wants to know, does the pinch the zoom part work? And yes, it does work. All right, Calvin, if you want to pinch in the zoom, it does work. Let's see, we got uh, Fabulous Glasses. Let's see what's going on. Shout out to my nephew. All right, if y'all watched that last video I did, that la that new song he got is definitely popping. Uh, he got a new uh, album coming out called Trapanomics. <laughs> Trapanomics. I actually got A in that class, all right, so I know all about Trapanomics. All right, pretty red right here. Okay. Now, to the naked eye, you might think it's some thought activity, but she's actually a registered nurse that works in the pediatric department. All right, so, you know, she just be having fun on the low. You know what I'm saying? I, I respect that. All right, we got smack water. Let's see. Mr. Wright, I look like he just copped a new house. We got a new house alert. Okay, we got a new house alert. I like that. Now, good thing he didn't put the address on there. You know what I'm saying? Because I might have to pay him a visit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see. I guess I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's get it. Let's see. We got the jewelry game. All right, just getting like those photos. Now, this is what's going down in New York City right now. If you see my weather report, we've been getting rain for the last couple of days. This is real life in New York City. All right, it's major flooding. I'm in my basement. I'm catching a little flooding down here also. It's crazier. All right, Mother Nature, I need you to calm down. All right, we got Trav out here. Well, let's see. Was he, he trolling? Let's see. Put it on his tab. You know what it says? It's TMB Rock. He always be like, put it on his tab. <laughs> He's a, he's a troll. He's a troll. But again, Calvin, if you want to zoom in, all right, you can zoom in. All right, so this is how Instagram is going to look. Real nice. So that's your regular daily activities. Everything that you do on your flagship phone, you can do on this phone for half the price. Let's keep it moving.
All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now you got a bunch of different shooting modes. You got night mode, which goes from wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Now when you're in night mode, you can also activate pro mode and change all your pro settings while you're in night mode. Now you got video, so you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. And your max resolution is 4K 60 frames per second. Now you got photos, wide angle, all the way up to 20 times zoom. You got HDR, artificial intelligence, and you got all your different filters. Now you got portrait mode. If you want to, you can change your bokeh effect. You got 64 megapixels, and you got more. So you got dual video, you got slow motion, time lapse, movie, expert, panorama, text scanner, and ultra macro. All right, so now let's take a look at some test pictures and videos. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Realme GT 5G a major, major, major go. And at 520 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. This might be one of the best mid-range phones of the year. Now, the battery life on this is great, not to mention the 65 watt dart charge that comes in the box. You can charge this phone from zero to 100% in 35 minutes. Now, I tested it out myself. It took me about 38 minutes, but that's still under 40 minutes to charge your phone from zero to 100%. Not to mention, you got a beautiful AMOLED display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. The phone is super fast and responsive. The fingerprint sensor, the face unlock, always on display. Everything works great. You got dual speakers that sound great. This phone performs exactly like a flagship phone. Now, I will say this. I used this phone during my testing for a full day as my daily driver. So I did all my work stuff, all my play stuff, and it handled everything like a boss. Then the second day, I used the Oppo 
and this foam both together as my daily drivers to see if I can really feel a difference. And honestly, you could barely tell the difference. If you like the Oppo Find X3 Pro and you don't care about wireless charging, you don't care about the microscope camera, you don't care about the IP rating and the Quad HD display, but most importantly, you wanna save half the price, trust me when I tell you, go with the Realme GT. This phone is a beast. Anyway, Realme GT 5G, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, don't want to know me. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.